Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video we will be talking about the problem count all valid pickup and delivery options its index is 1359 and it is the hard problem of the lead code okay so let's talk about the concepts that is being required to solve this problem so if you come over this uh, related topic section you will see there is a tag maths as well as dynamic programming plus combinatorics okay so this problem is uh, totally related with the dynamic programming we need to know the number of ways to reach out to the previous states then we need a uh, combinatorics application like we need to count down the number of ways for the current state with the help of previous one and some maths that is being involved over here okay so you uh, if you are not hands on practice on this combinatorics section you should uh, go to there and practice some problems as well as uh, you should have uh, a good idea of how to use dynamic programming linear dp over this problem okay so like if you are stuck upon that no need to worry about we will discuss all those in this video so let's begin given n orders each order consists in pickup and delivery services count all valid pickup slash delivery possible sequences such that delivery of i is always after pickup of i okay so since the answer can be very large we need to return it modulo 10 raised to the power 9 plus 7 okay so also n is around 500 so it gives us the idea that yes we can have uh, o of n squared solution possible also or we can have o of n time solution also i will discuss all those in this video mainly i will focus upon o of n time solution with the help of dynamic programming okay so let's understand this problem in detail and we will together build up the best solution for this problem okay so suppose n is 1 so there is only one order so an order is consist of a pickup and delivery let's say uh, pickup is p1 and delivery is d1 so first we should pick up the order then we should deliver that order okay so for n is 1 there is only one possible sequences p1 d1 right if you look out this one there is only one possible sequences p1 and d1 okay so what about when n is 2 so when n is 2 you can see there are uh, various cases p1 d1 as well as p2 as well as d2 so there are four possible uh, services that is pickup 1 delivery 1 pickup 2 and delivery 2 we should rearrange these four services in such order that there is always a, a pickup after that delivery or for that a particular order okay so if you're not understanding it no need to worry about so let's take a random arrangement of this uh, entire four services let's say we have a p1 d2 d1 and p2 okay so this is one of the arrangement of this for n equal to 2 so you can see uh, first i will pick up the very first order and we will deliver the very first order right over here right so this is valid for the uh, order 1 but what about the order 2 order for order 2 you, you can see I am going to deliver that order at the second position but still we haven't picked that order number 2 like we should first pick up the order number 2 then we should deliver that right but here you can see this uh, pickup uh, 2p2 is coming after this d2 so this is not a valid arrangement so invalid arrangement okay so you can see for there are four services so there is exactly four factorial arrangements and we should remove that arrangements which is invalid okay so in brute force solution we can see n is around 500 so for uh, given n, I, I should have to do 500 factorial, then I should remove those invalid arrangements. You can see 500 factorial to compute that value is quite uh, like big. So it will give you a TLE. So we should think of an efficient approach. Can we uh, find out the answers uh, for the next state with the help of the current state or not? We should focus over that. So let me talk about this dynamic programming. So this will help us to find out the answers for the current state with the help of previous state. Now you can see if dp of 0, okay so let me write down in general case, dp of i is the number of ways 
number of ways uh yeah number of ways to deliver ek minute uh, wait a minute let me okay so number of ways not calling it as way number of valid sequences number of valid sequences uh possible by considering first i plus 1 orders okay so dpf i will be denoting number of valid sequences by considering first i plus 1 orders so you can see if dp of 0 i need to write it is actually 1 because we have only p1 and d1 as valid sequence okay so what is the value of dp of 1 can uh, we uh, find out the value of dp of 1 with the help of previous value or not so this is going to be a quite good one if you are able to figure it out so let us write down this value p1 and d1 over here so this is for the previous state i need to answer for dp of 1 which is the considering first two orders so now my current orders are you can see p2 and d2 pick up to and delivery to we need to uh, insert p2 as well as d2 over this sequences such that it becomes a four size sequence and it is a valid sequence and it should be a valid sequence and it should be a valid sequence right so we need to insert p2 and d2 to p1 and d1 over some place so that it should be a valid sequence so how we are going to do that okay now you can see uh, if you consider the positions of p1 and d1 like p1 and d1 we we have one empty place over here to insert either p2 or d2 we have one empty place over here we have one empty place over here so there are three gaps right there are three gaps so we need to insert p2 and d2 over these gaps so you can what you can do is you can consider a step by step approach that is if you will insert p2 over here that is you must insert p2 then d2 that like pick up should be uh, before then delivery right so p2 over here then you can insert d2 over here uh, sorry then you can insert d2 over here also like it should be like p2 p1 sorry p2 uh, d2 then p1 d1 this can this can be one of the valid sequence right so uh, here you can insert p2 as well as d2 okay so d2 can be inserted over here just after p2 d2 can be inserted over here d2 can be inserted over here so there are three ways to insert d2 when p2 is over this position right okay so when p2 is over this position you can insert d2 over here you can insert d2 over here so there are two ways to insert d2 when p2 is over this position and what about when p2 is over this position then we can only insert d2 over here that should be like p1 d1 p2 d2 this is a valid sequence right so there will be one way to do that so what is the total number of ways when you want to insert p2 d2 over this position these empty positions that is 3 plus 2 plus 1 which we have counted just now which is 6 right so if you look out the answers you can see yes we are getting 6 for n equal to 2 so how do we generalize that this is going to be important generalize for any ith order like what will the value of dp of i that is considering first i plus 1 orders yeah we can do that so let us talk about the general case by extending it a little bit more okay so let's say uh we have we have already calculated for n equal to 2 that is for two orders we have already calculated right so there will be some value over here some value over here some value over here some value over here right and like we have already calculated for n equal to 2 so there will be four occupied positions now there is a gap over here there is a gap over here gap over here over here over here okay so let's say we have, we need to calculate dp of i right it is unknown okay so if we need to calculate dp of i so what is the number of gaps present number of gaps present right now 
will be equal to gaps exactly equal to i into 2 plus 1. Okay, so if you are not getting some field, how I have uh, written down, down this i into 2 plus 1, consider i as 2 because we have already calculated for i equal to 0 and i equal to 1. Okay, so uh, number of gaps for this i equal to 2 will be i into 2 plus 1 which is 5. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if i is 3, you should find out through i into uh, i into 2 plus 1 again. So you will uh, find out it should it is coming value as 7. Right. So for a given i which you need to calculate the ways number of gaps would be i into 2 plus 1. Okay. So uh, how we should find out the value for the current state. So you can see number of ways d for dp of i will be what is the total number of arrangements for i minus 1 valid sequences for i minus 1 with into multiplied by uh, current ways so we need to find this uh, value what is the number of ways to put this value which is actually p3 and d3 for i equal to 2 to over these places like we need to put p3 and d3 over these places uh, our answer for dp of 2 would be dp of i minus 1 into number of ways to put p3 and d3 to over these positions if we calculate for i equal to 2 so note that if I am saying that dp of i is for first i plus 1 orders because I am considering a zero based indexing. Okay. So if we need to calculate dp of 2, it should be like dp of 1 multiplied by ways. And this ways is number of putting this p3 and d3 over these positions if we calculate for 2, dp of 2. Right. So let's uh, understand how in general we can write down the equations to calculate for any i. Okay, so you can see uh, there are exactly gaps uh, which is i into 2 plus an amount of these empty spaces and we need to put the values of uh, some particular order over these positions. Okay, so you can see whenever uh, I will put, I will fix some pi, uh, there will be two values pi and di, whenever I will fix some pi over this position right so uh, i have the choice of di as gaps amount okay we can put over here over here 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 when i put pi over here right so there are exactly gaps amount of spaces i will put di over these positions right and what about when we put pi over here then i have gaps minus one amount of uh, choices to put di over the positions Right, you can see I can put over here, 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 here. So there are gaps minus one amount of choices. Where gaps is I into 2 plus 1. You can see gaps is actually the count of this, 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 this and this. Right. And what about when we put PI over here? We have again gaps minus 2. Okay. And what about when we put PI over here? We have gaps minus 3. And what about when we put PI over here? We have gaps minus 4. Right. So you can see uh, we can uh, the extra ways is coming out to be. You can see uh, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 gaps. Uh, 5 times gaps is added over here. Which is actually you can see the total number of gaps that is equal to uh, that is present over here. So we can write that in general as ways is gaps multiplied by gaps which is the actual the very first value of all these uh, in the brackets you can see and uh, you can see we have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and it goes on till uh, gaps minus 1 where gaps is you can see i into 2 plus 1. So I will subtract it out gaps into gaps minus 1 upon 2. So this is the number of ways to uh, you can see that will be multiplied over this position where I can put some pi comma di over the respective positions with respect to previous states. Okay, so we need to multiply this value. So that will give us the correct answer. Okay, so let us uh, solve for n equal to 3. 
n equal to 3. So we need to write down dp of 3 as dp of 2 multiplied by uh, gaps into gaps minus gaps into gaps minus 1 upon 2. Okay. So, so we have some arrangements which are already done for the two orders which are over here, over here, over here and over here and there are empty places also you can see uh, this, 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 this. Note that we are calculating for i equal to 3. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I think I have done some mistake. We have already processed for two orders, right? Uh, so there will be uh, note that I need to do some I have already done mistake something we have already done for two orders right so I should write down here as the dp of 2 and here as dp of 1 because uh, i starts from 0 and we have done for two orders so 0 and 1 is done so the third order is i equal to 2 okay so I need to write down dp of 2 as dp of 1 into this value okay so let us uh, fill up the gaps we have already done for two orders this one this one this one and this one and there are exactly how many gaps five gaps this 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 and this if you calculate it mathematically you will see gaps equals i into 2 plus 1 which is i is 2 over here so 2 into 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 okay so dp of 1 is already 6 right so this value is 6 multiplied by gaps is actually 5 into 5 which is 25 minus you can see 5 into 4 upon 2 so if you calculate it you will get 6 into 5 25 minus 5 into 4 20 by 2 is 10 which is 6 into 15 which is coming out to be 90 so there are 90 ways if you look out the answers from the example test case you will see n equal to 3 is 90 so we are having the correct answers so let's look out the submissions you can see I have a 0 runtime and a 100% faster solution. You can see uh, runtime bits are 100%. Okay, so we need to take modulo also. So I have defined LL as long long and mod as 10 raised to the power 9 plus 7. And DP of i is the number of ways for first i plus 1 orders. So my base case is DP of 0 which is 1 for the only one order. So I will start from 1. So I will calculate gaps which is i into 2 plus 1 and v is, is gaps into gaps minus this value which is which has come from mathematical uh, derivation which I have shown you. And so for the current one dp of i equals dp of i minus 1 into ways and we need to care for the modulo for the overflow. And finally we need to return dp of n minus 1 which is the total number of ways for first n orders. Right. So talking about the time complexity, you can see time complexity is O of n and space complexity is also O of n but we can optimize the space complexity because you can see each time we need only the previous value, right? So I will take a previous variable and each time uh, update it when we need to calculate for the current one, right? So it uh, space complexity also becomes O of 1 by further optimization. Okay, so if you guys have still any doubts regarding anything, you can reach out to us through the comment section of the video. And thank you for watching this video and do not forget to like this video, share this video as well as subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.